In this video, we're going to take a look at how to fade an image in Figma. We're going to fade an image to transparent and we're going to fade an image to a color. To do that, we need to place the image in our document, not put it or attach it to a frame or shape as a fill, but actually place the image. So we're going to go to the Figma drop down file and then place image. That's Shift Command K or Shift Control K if you're on Windows. So we place the image, select our image, hit open. And I would recommend, because most images are pretty darn big, I would just click and drag to begin to place the image in here, kind of get it to the uh, aspect ratio you want, and then let go. So we have the image, and we can see that it's an image in our Layers panel. And this does not work as the fill of a shape or a frame, unfortunately. So we actually have to have the image in here, but once we do, we can do two things. First, I'm going to duplicate this so I can show you the two examples. I'm going to hold Option or Alt, click and drag to duplicate this out. And on this image on the left, I'll show you how to fade to transparency. On the right, we will actually fade to a color within the image. So we need to create a rectangle that has the gradient fade. So we're going to grab the rectangle tool. The shortcut key is R and just create a rectangle that's slightly bigger than your image, and then let go. Now, we need to send this to the back behind the image because we're gonna create a mask with it. So we'll right click on it, send to back. From here, we can add a fill to this rectangle that is a gradient fade of black to black. So I'm gonna click on this fill, which is the white or grayish fill, and I'm gonna actually select the gradient tab and then I'm gonna make sure that the first swatch is black, and then I'm gonna click on the second swatch and also drag it to black. So it's black to black. The transparent fade part is where we want our image to fade to transparency as well. So the totally black area will be where we can see our image, and when this fades, that will also fade the opacity of the image. So right now, the image will fade out on the bottom. So we're gonna take these two layers and we can adjust this gradient to however we want, but we can also adjust it after the fact. But we're gonna take these two objects, I'm gonna exit out of this, grab both of them by selecting both, and then right click and go to Use as Mask. Now what this does is it uses that transparency of the shape or of the rectangle, as you can see here in the Layers panel, and applies it to the image in this mask group. And so now we have transparency here on the bottom. And we can go back into this um, gradient by selecting the rectangle, and then we can see the fill on the right over here, and we can click on that, and we can make adjustments to this fill. So I could bring that transparency down here, I could bring it up from the image bottom, and kind of have the image fade out. So I can make adjustments here to the rectangle's transparency, which then I see the adjustment of how it fades the image out. So that's how to fade the image to transparent. On this one here, we can fade it to a color. So let's say this image was a part of a card or something. Now this method, you can do a fill of a frame. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You could do the image, um, in the same way, but let's go ahead and create a quick frame. So F it's the shortcut key. We'll create a frame that looks like this, and this frame has a fill. So, and by the way, sorry, that might've been too quick. F is the shortcut key for the frame tool that's up here, so we can create a frame. So we created a frame. Uh, the fill over here is white, but we could click on that and select an image, and then choose image. And we could choose that same image and open that up here in this frame. Now right now there's a few options here, like you can fit it to the frame, you can fill the frame. Let's just fill the frame. So we have this guy here. Now we can add multiple fills on this. So if we add a fill on top of this image, so with the plus icon, right now we just added a 20% fill on top of the image of black. So basically darken the image. Well, we can click on this and change that to a gradient. And let's go ahead and keep it at black, that's fine but let's make this 100% so that we can make our own adjustments here. So we made the opacity 100%. Now we can go back to that gradient and we can flip flop this. If we wanted the 
uh, dark to be on the bottom, we could just drag the 0% um, opacity swatch to the left and drag the black to the right. So now you can see how it goes from black to black, but this one on the left is 0% opacity at the top and it's totally dark at the bottom. We could also come out here and click on these points and drag them up and down. Now be careful because you might accidentally start to angle this. So if we hold shift, we can more lock it in. But let's say the bottom half of this image, we wanted to fade to black a little bit so that we could put some text or something down here. You can do that just with this gradient fill here that sits on top of the image fill. And so we have these two here. And then of course we could tweak the whole fill itself and drop down. Maybe now we take this to 80% opacity or something. You could make those adjustments as well, but of course you would want to get this looking just how you want. And so we might have to come in here and maybe tweak a little bit of this too, or tweak where these lines are. Maybe drop that to the bottom just to darken up the bottom of the photo so that our text stands out. Now you could do this with any color as well. So we could maybe make this red and I would change both swatches to be the same. So we'll change those both to red or maybe in this case, blue would actually make a little bit more sense. So we could change them or even eyedropper one of these blues, maybe like uh, this blue here. And we could change both of these to be that blue. I could copy the hex code from one swatch to the other and paste it in there. And then now we have blue to blue. And this first one, we got rid of the transparency. So we just drag this back down. So we bring back some transparency. So now this kind of fades to a blue here at the bottom. We can exit out of this. As you can see, you can do multiple different things. Uh, we can fade with a mask to complete transparency, or we can just apply some kind of image on top here to kind of adjust the actual fading to maybe like a color or a darkness or a white or whatever you need. That's how you can fade an image here in Figma.